in this presentation, I am going to give you an overview of the manager key functionality for various POS operations in LS Retail. So what is the purpose of manager key? So you, you might have different staff in the store, like a cashier or manager or executives, you would want the access to be only with the manager and not with the cashier. You would want the manager to log in to be able to proceed with the transaction. For example, for returns, you want the manager only to process that. Or another example would be negative adjustments. You would want the manager to or log in before they are able to process that. Another example would be some of the tasks related to a tender, maybe the tender operations like, like uh, the end of day or printing Z report or X report. So all these are like if grouped in a menu and uh, if you want only the manager to have access to that menu, that's also possible. This, this is the feature that's available in LS Retail. There are different uh, areas where this manager key can be enabled from and that would trigger the functionality. First, start with returns and the approach I would take for is that first I would show you the setup, the back office, and then I would take you to the POS interface. So the first for returns is uh, the terminal that P003, which I'm going to use. And here, if you see manager key on return is enabled. Now, once I have done that, I'm going to, show you the interface and login. Now over here 201 is configured as a manager. So you should see all the options and 202 is configured as a cashier. So uh, not everything would be available over here as for the configuration. So I'm expecting the cashier would not have the permission to return as we have configured. So logging in with 202. And if you see this refund button is disabled already. Now, even if I go to the transactions and from there, Say for example, I'm going to select uh, any one of the sales transactions and try to void it. And it says that manager key is required for returns. So that's how it is. And if I want to return, then probably I'd like to have the manager logged in. Now this is like a demo database, so password is not there. So ideally in a real life scenario, the password will be there. So if I'm clicking on okay, you see the option is enabled. All right, so the next scenario we are going to see is negative adjustment. There is a functionality to register negative adjustments, but for this, we are going to see it differently. Like there is going back to the, so I am going to just log off and log in again with 202 to show you. So negative adjustment uh, is basically a command which is used. So I'm just going to the button to show the command quickly to you. So this is the command which is used and we are going to set, enable the manager key at this command level. So if anywhere you are using this command, it would ask for the manager key. So this is the pause commands. I've already opened it. You see the negative adjustment which was in use and here is the manager key that is enabled. So the system would not allow me now. But then the moment I'm going to log in with the manager ID and it's enabled for me and ready to use. All right, so I'm just going to quickly cancel this to have an info code. So next I'm going to cover is scenario where you want to for a specific tender type, like if you want to have only the manager process that kind of a payment so you can do that so in my example i have considered uh, the customer account as as a payment that would want the manager permission or login to process so if i have to go to the setup so the store i'm going to store from this, the store i'm using is this one and i'm going to quickly navigate to the tender types and from the tender types i'm going to the customer account if i'm going to the card and if you see here i have enabled the manager key control over here so this requires to have the manager logged in i'm just going to log in again with 202 uh, manager no with the all these options disabled so i'm going to quickly ring in a couple of items here 
then I'm going to select the customer and I'm going to pick up any customer here. I know this may not be relevant items here, but <laughs> uh, for the purpose of the presentation, I'm going to click on post to account now and you see the manager key is required to use this tender type is what the message is and this is controlled from the tender type. Uh, the functionality we just saw a couple of minutes ago. All right, so let me just avoid this so that we can proceed with the next scenario. Now, the next is uh, the ability if you want, uh, like some of the POS operations would be like if you want uh, to, uh, or you have a report like an inventory valuation report or some page that shows you the store sales and you don't want that to be available to everybody but the manager. So that's possible. So in this presentation, what I have store sales now i'm going to the properties of the button and i'm using this command called as run object what is this command doing so here i have mapped that run object is going to run the page and the page id and this would actually the intention would be to show the store sales if you see over here the manager key is enabled so at the run object level i'm specifying that for this particular object I want the manager key to be enabled. Click over here. It says manager key is required for this function. That's what we wanted. I'm going to log in with the manager key now. And now I can just see the store sales page is now available. So, so any functionality like where you're using some report or page or maybe any other object, you have the ability to do that. Last scenario, which I'm going to show you is menu access. So like if you have a menu defined, uh, if you have maybe, you know, uh, as I pointed out earlier, maybe a tender operations button, which we have multiple buttons uh, grouped in that, or maybe this, this fashion button, which basically is wanting the manager key. If I'm going to this button, it is defined as a, uh, there is a menu called menu for which is defined. And if I'm going to, go to that menu click on view and you see the manager key is enabled over here so so at the menu level also this is possible i'm just going to go back over here do a manager login with 201 and then just try that option so you see now i am able to view the items that are part of this menu so this is again a very good uh, uh, feature that uh, helps that kind of a segregation. That's it. There are other features also like the staff uh, permission groups, which gives you a more detailed configuration to control all these things. But uh, manager key is like of these areas like we discussed and is very, comes out to be very handy and useful. That's it for now. If you have any questions or requirements, please feel free to contact us and you know where to contact. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.